have finally made it to Friday and after a week of strong storms, we want to give you something to feel happy about as we head into the weekend. We'll start in Columbus where an important day remembering emancipation was celebrated. Let us march on till victory. An eighth day of May emancipation celebration took place on Wednesday in Columbus. Folks gathered at the historic Sandfield Cemetery. They enjoyed live music, dancing and history brought to life. The date marks when the majority of Lowndes County's enslaved population gained freedom in 1865. One of the performers spoke to us about the importance of the celebration. Um, my favorite part that I want to show the audience is in, I'm quoting the Bible verse, 1 Samuel chapter 16 and 7, which reads, see people as God see them, not based on the hour's appearance. There is so much more to this important story. You can learn more about the event in the historic cemetery and find out who the surprise guest was at WTVA.com. Some students in Union County decided to make a trip to downtown New Albany today. Third graders from New Albany Elementary and East Union Attendance Center were participating in the school's annual downtown tour. The tour allows students the opportunity to visit local businesses to learn about jobs in the community. At each stop, students were taught about different occupations and the role each business plays in the community. We're kind of trying to expose kids at a younger age to different jobs that are out there so they can kind of learn the jobs that they know are what their mom and dads do, right? So we're trying to expose them earlier and earlier about jobs that we have here in New Albany that they might be interested in one day. Over 215 students were part of today's tour. The Create Foundation this week gave the Jack Reed Senior Northeast Mississippi Community Leadership Award to someone very familiar. My staff lied to me, you know, to, to keep me in the dark, but I, I, I thought they did a great job doing that because I had no clue what was going to happen. Lewis Whitfield is a senior consultant for the CREATE Foundation. He's a former banker and a longtime community leader in the All-America City. Whitfield received the honor during the State of the Region meeting. Congratulations to him. And graduation season has already begun for some Mississippi universities. MSU showed their newest graduates on Thursday. Here you can see pictures from their commencement ceremony. It features graduates in the MSU Access Program, MSU College of Business, and MSU College of Education. And let's not forget the graduating students of the University of Mississippi. Right now the Grove is packed with chairs for students and families to attend the university's graduation commencement ceremony. Wright Thompson, an author and ESPN writer, will be giving the commencement address on the Grove stage. Thompson is an award-winning writer and longtime Ole Miss sports fan. The commencement will take place tomorrow at 9 a.m. One class in the Corinth School District is proving that reading is fundamental. We want to send a big congratulations to Mrs. Pearson's third grade class for being crowned the state's reading champions. For four weeks, these students you see there on your screen were able to earn the most reading minutes for their team in the 2024 Read Bowl. The students fully embraced the competition, but more importantly, students were able to gain a passion for reading.